Hi everyone, this is Teo from Prakablocks.com. Today I'm going to show you this bottle of ink. This is Daniel Smith's Walnut Ink. Let me prepare the materials. The ink, Layla Rowney heavyweight cartridge paper, Sailor fountain pen, Confucius fountain pen, and a dip pen. Let's take a look at the instructions first. So this is acid-free, natural walnut colored drawing ink, excellent ink for dip pens or brush. 2 ounce, 59 ml. That's it. As far as I know, this is the only ink made by Daniel Smith. So it's a CPR colored ink. Let's try this with a dip pen first. I'm drawing one of those small transport movers at the airport. The ink is water-based, so it's not water-soluble. If you use water on the lines, it's going to dissolve. And now I'm using a brush to create some shadow tones on the ground. So this sepia tone has a rather vintage look to it. This ink takes a while to dry and also for the lines that are thicker it takes even longer. So these are the lines that are created with the dip pen. I'm not sure if you can see clearly but the thicker lines here there is a very sharp edge and the edge there is slightly darker. It only happens for thicker lines like this. For the thin lines, it's just like this. You can get some sort of gradation going on. For example, here, this is a bit darker, this is a bit lighter. This ink works quite well with this dip pen. So this is how the sketch looks like when it's dry. Let's use the Duke 551 now. This is also known as the Confucius fountain pen. It features a very large bent nib. I'm going to use this as a dip pen. The ink flow in this pen is not very good. Anyway, there is no mention whether or not this ink is safe for use inside a fountain pen. So I'm a bit apprehensive to use that inside one. One of the main highlights of this pen is you can draw very thick strokes which is awesome but it uses up ink rather fast there is a there is an ink reservoir up there that holds some ink so it can last for quite a while but still it uses up the ink pretty quickly I'm using this pen because I want to see how much ink it, it can put out and also what happens when I have washers, large areas of ink like this. This area is in the shadow so I can use the tip to give this a wash. This area here is almost black. This is the tank that is parked at the Independence Palace in Ho Chi Minh City. 
Once again, the ink took a long time to dry. I accidentally tilted the paper and some of the ink actually ran to the left side. So I have this unwanted mark and this unwanted mark here. Let's take a closer look at the gradation. So the ink can be quite dark and also quite light at the same time. For the thinner lines, I think they are very light. For the thicker lines, they are much darker. And inside the wash like this, there is some variation as well, which is quite nice. Especially here, when it goes from dark to light and to dark again. And lastly, let's use this Sailor fountain pen with a cross emperor nib. There is a tap on top that can hold ink. So this is good for use as a dip pen as well. The ink can produce some very beautiful gradation as well when it comes to writing. So every stroke has a very subtle gradation of values. See here this is light, dark, light, and then dark, and this is dark, and this is light. It has got to do with the way you write as well. Let me try and draw something with this pen as well. This ink is definitely wetter compared to more viscous ink like India ink. And when you cross the lines like this, sometimes the ink would flow back if the other line is still wet. So that creates a very beautiful gradation. Some of the paper fiber from this paper actually came out. So if I use the pen to go over this area another time, more fiber more paper fiber will come out so this is the sketch because the ink is quite transparent i also wanted to find out how it will work for glazing so these are the different layers with the ink this is one layer two layers three four and five the differences between the tones or the values is not very significant even after five layers it's quite dark but I can still see the lines showing through. I guess you can dilute the ink even further to get lighter tones but that would be a bit challenging if you want to get that difference in tone. The CPR colored ink definitely gives this a vintage look. It's quite fun to use. Overall the ink is not too expensive. I bought this at around US $10 and this has 60 ml so this can last for quite a long time. I do not have any light fast information regarding this ink so you should probably assume that it's not light fast. I'm going to be using this ink for my sketchbook so the art is not going to see a lot of light so that's fine for me.
So that's all for this review of the Daniel Smith Walnut Ink. I will put the link to the text review in the video description below as well as links to all the pens that I've used, the Sailor fountain pen and also the Duke fountain pen. If you have any questions regarding the ink, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.